I'm sure you're familiar with the word wave. You've probably moved your hand back and forth at a friend to wave hello, or watched the waves break at the beach. To those who study physics, a wave is much more than a simple greeting. Waves are disturbances that transfer energy from one place to another. Without waves, you couldn't see or hear. They're all around you. There are two types of waves: mechanical and electromagnetic. Mechanical waves have to travel through some type of matter, like air, water, or solid objects. This is because mechanical waves move when molecules in the matter bump into each other. These collisions pass on energy. Sound waves are a type of mechanical wave. Sound waves must travel through something to move. In outer space, past Earth's atmosphere, there is no air for sound waves to travel through. Because of this, there is no sound in space. It's completely silent. Other mechanical waves include ocean waves and seismic waves that cause earthquakes. Electromagnetic waves do not have to travel through something. They can move through a vacuum, empty space, without any air, water, or solid objects. Electromagnetic waves don't rely on molecules colliding like mechanical waves. This type of wave moves through the charged particles in an electrical or magnetic field. Light is a type of electromagnetic wave. This is why light travels through outer space while sound cannot. Other types of electromagnetic waves include radio waves, X-rays, and microwaves. Waves can be described by how they move. Some waves move up and down as they move forward. Picture waves in the ocean. They are moving towards the shore. As they do, the height of the wave also rises and falls. This is an example of a transverse wave. Longitudinal waves move in the same direction that the energy is traveling, not up and down. Sound waves are an example of a longitudinal wave. It's important to note that matter does not move through waves; only energy does. If you place a raft into the ocean, it will bob up and down as the waves crest and fall. It will not move towards the shore unless other factors like current or wind affect it. Scientists can measure how much energy a wave has. Wavelength is the distance between the peaks or highest points of the waves. The closer together the peaks are, the shorter the wavelength and the more energy the wave has. Amplitude measures how tall or short a wave is from its peak to its resting point. A taller wave with a higher amplitude means more energy. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.